you found the Sharks Broadcast Podcast. Subscribe, and if you like what you hear, give us a five-star rating. Good morning to you straight up at 7 o'clock. So you did your favorite thing yesterday, Train. Yeah, I talked and uh, obsessed over food uh, pretty much all day yesterday. Steak sandwiches, uh, cheese steaks, and I found a <laughs> section of Dover, New Hampshire that I really didn't even know existed. I apologize for those of you that are very well aware of Oak Street, mm-hmm. the uh, extension that goes, uh, I believe it's eastbound of Portland Ave. I had no idea that the 99, this building, 99 uh, Oak Street even existed. That's where Earl's Steak Sandwiches are. Yeah. That Did came somebody in, recommend it Yeah, to that, that came in late as a request, for, uh, as a uh, recommendation from Fred. Uh, I gotcha. Who said that uh, by the best by far cheesesteaks yeah. are at uh, Earl's Cheesesteaks. Uh, no, it's Earl's Steak Sandwiches. That's the name of the place, Earl's. So with a name like that, I mean, so I, what happened? You went? And- I went. Yeah, I got a, a cheesesteak, a uh, takeout, very friendly. Uh, I went home and ate it, and it was indeed wonderful. Nice soft bread and uh, kind of a, <laughs> a, a hybrid. It was like, you know, the shaved steak, but it was like really, really thick and well done, uh, you know, well cooked. It was perfect. Okay. I, I loved right. it. So that's why uh, Fred said that. I never, again, it's right down the road. Yep. I never even realized it was there. It's also National Lobster Newburgh mm-hmm. today. Oh. Newburgh Day. Yep. Do you know Lobster Newberg? Did your no. mom ever make that? No. My That's not like it. the Thermidor, is it? That's something different? I don't know what a Thermidor <laughs> is. I thought it was some cigar box yeah, right. thing. No. Uh, lobster Newberg. It, it's it's lobster in a creamy sauce, and it's served on an English muffin, usually. My okay. mother made it. But she always put, like, booze in it. Okay. I did not like it at all. Interesting. She like, loved it. Oh, was it wine that she uses the booze? Or, well, I've um... checked out several recipes, and there is one recipe that calls for like a quarter cup of sherry. Okay. But the stuff that my mother made, my God, it tasted like it had a, a, a at least a couple cups of vodka. Okay. It, which explains a lot. There we go. <laughs> There's a Thermidor. <laughs> uh, Newberg. Interesting. Okay, I got I to gotta look that up. We see what the booze is and that's involved. Yeah, go up to see yeah. Ian at Pepper's Landing. Oh, and, he would uh, know. Yeah, yeah, he'd know. Absolutely. And see if he can make you a uh, lobster Newberg. I got a. I got another assignment today. This is great. <laughs> you look at 7-Eleven. It's the Shark Morning Show with Sarah and A-Train. Carpe the diem. It's true. Time now for the brain strain. You've got a good question today, Train. Yeah, you know, we've got uh, the ski passes there, spring ski passes. So I figure, how about an outdoor activity brain strain? Over the past five years in New England, the past five years, this has become the most popular outside activity. What is it? Hmm. Uh, Is it uh, sitting around the fire pit? Um, it's not that. That, but it's, um, (laughs) <laughs> that's not far off, really. You know what I mean? Like, who is it that says that in your family? Are you allowed to say? Fup it. No, I can't. Uh, I cannot reveal who says so, it. I have certain. He says. I have the cert- person. certain relatives that are very excited about their fire pit, to which uh, they refer to it, and the prod. You know, the you've been, like partying around the fire pit is fup it. Fup it. Yeah. Okay. Are they drinking at the time? Sometimes, because they're <laughs> excited about being around the fup it. The f- <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. Uh, anyway, all right. So it's not the, not standing around the puppet. No. Um, <laughs> is it? Uh, let's see. An outdoor activity. Is it? Uh, well, darts wouldn't be outdoor, would it? Um, no. Is it volleyball? Uh, no, it's not volleyball. But boy, you know, it's you're shooting all around it. Maybe here. I shouldn't yeah, guess yeah. anymore. Yeah, it's it's close to that. You know what I mean? It's not anything like um. You know, like, you know, bi- I think people would say bicycling, and it's not not that. It's not so, biking. All right. Yeah. Can you say what the question is again? Because yeah. oh. I forget. <laughs> Over the past five years here in New England, this has become the most popular outside activity. What is it? All right. 877 Shark. Good luck. There's- it's a Shark Morning Show with Sarah and A-Train. We're playing the brain strain on a Thursday, Thruesday, as you like to call yeah, it. Yeah, you got your Thruesday brain strain going. Over the past five years here in New England, this has become the most popular outside activity. What is it? 877 Shark. Good morning. What's your guess? I think it's camping. No, it's not camping. It's not camping. No. Come on, guys. I know. I know. I want to give it to you so much. But no, <laughs> okay, try. Well, we'll go camping and play volleyball near the river. Oh, my God. And then stand around the puppet. That would be so fun. <laughs> and have have the cheesy. <laughs> Try again. Hey, I say it's hiking. No, it's not hiking. 
No, it's not hiking. It is not. Try again. Somebody else already gets that. All right. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. Sarah, is it sitting around playing cornhole and drinking beer? That's it, Ed. Oh, it's cornhole. Yeah, Ed, you got it. Oh, nice yeah. work, my friend. Do you have a cornhole oh, yeah. uh, game in your backyard or what? Oh, yeah. Lauren has one that's got the uh, Boston Red Sox. She has oh, nice. Oh, okay. very good. Very nice. And I can't get it in the hole for anything. So uh, that's that's unfortunate. All right. Uh, hang on just one second, Ed, okay? Okay. There we go. Cornhole. That is fun. You know, and it's just like anything else. You get into a zone, and then all of a sudden, you get like three in a row. So we have a cornhole game that we bring uh-huh. uh, to events and stuff. It's actually not a traditional cornhole, though. It's like, it's got five holes in it. Oh, yeah, yeah, Remember yeah. Remember that game yeah, that we the had? Yeah, the shark-themed one. The yeah, shark-themed yeah. one, right? Yeah. And <laughs> that thing, whenever we bring it to events and stuff, I'm like, oh, yeah, it'll be so much fun. <laughs> By the end of our time there, I'm like, I am so tired because you got to go fetch the, you know, the yeah. little bean bags. Yeah, sometimes that, that, that happens. It, it's a little rough if it's on because sometimes, you know, we'll get put like in a kind of a parking lot and stuff. It's tough to, you know, you're going down on one knee on the asphalt after a couple hours. It gets rough. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, Cornhole. I would think that hiking, I'm, I'm with that woman uh, who called hiking. Yeah, a lot of people have gotten out there and walked and stuff. Well, I tell you, just looking out my window every night, I see bicycles up and down the road all all afternoon and all evening long, mm-hmm. too. So, yep. uh, yeah, a lot of outside activity for the last couple of years. But Cornhole takes the cake, I all guess. All right. Yeah. Well, listen, Train, put on your thinking cap. We're going to test your spelling. That's coming up next right. on The Shark. Ta- okay. Uh, it's a Shark Morning Show with Sarah Day Train. <laughs> we'll get to your spelling bee in a minute. <laughs> but I feel the need to confess uh, you know that you need a couple days off when you come to work with two different shoes. Yeah. Those, what the um, heck? Now, Sarah, I have done this before. I've done it uh, two times before, and uh, usually it's after the gym, you know. <laughs> uh, wow. But I will say this. Cause I, you know, I, I will say the two different shoes that you have on are quite a bit different than each one. <laughs> the <laughs> left one is quite a bit different style than the right. They are not similar. Yeah. They're similar in that they feel like they're the same shoe on my foot. Okay. Otherwise, I may have noticed it before I walked out the door. <laughs> I cannot believe it. I've got the left shoe of one pair and the right shoe of another pair. Yeah, one is uh, one's kind of like rattlesnakey, and then one is like red. That's kind of right. I've got my, I forget what you call them. They're like nurse's shoes. They're clogs. They're, you know, I wear these all the time. They're very well loved and very well worn. Um, and then the other pair, yeah, is like a rattlesnake sort of. Mm-hmm. Do you pair. have them? Do you have them all right by the door? No, I have them in my closet. Oh, and wow. during the week, oh. like during the weekends, I organize everything. But it's Thursday, oh, okay. So I just throw my shoes back in the closet. Yep. You know, and they're all like every which way. So there were two that <laughs> escaped my closet oh, this no. morning. And I'm like, oh, there's a pair. It's three o'clock in the morning. OK, I got up yeah. this morning wicked early. I couldn't sleep. It was 3 a.m. I'm like, OK, here's a pair of shoes. Slip them in. I did not notice until the Steve Miller band just played and I had to go pee. That was <laughs> and I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. There we go. Well, that's, yeah, we're on the radio. It's not like... Uh, yeah, but I have an appointment today. Uh-oh. uh-oh. Yeah, you'll have to... I'm going uh, to Hampton. I've got to meet with some people You'll today. have to put your best foot forward for uh, that one. hey Hey-o. we got your spelling bee coming up. It's the Shark Morning Show. <laughs> Train, thank goodness for our listeners. We got a call from Tim. That word that I messed up, I think that uh, what he told his co-workers uh, how it was pronounced. I think, I think what she meant was assiduous. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Thanks, yeah. Tim. <laughs> Uh, Assiduous. It is showing great care and perseverance. Okay. So now I'll never forget that word. We got uh, all of Kittery and Portsmouth doing spelling today. I love it. I love that, too. Yeah. Yeah, Thanks for the help with that. So (laughs) I think that we should move on. What do you think? And give you a couple more words? Sure. This is fun. All right. I'm glad that you enjoy it. (laughs) All right. Pittance is your word. Oh, a meager, like a meager pittance. Yes, like a mere pittance. Okay. Uh-oh. This is one of those A words or E words that uh, drive me crazy, but I'm going to go with pittance. P-I-T-T-A-N-C-E. Woo! Yeah, hey. that's correct. 
All right. How about pediatrician? Oh, that's a long one. Let's see. Pediatrician, P-E-D-I-A-T-R-I-C-I-A-N. Correct. Hey. Hey, now. Trains on fire, two in a row. You are on fire, I tell you. All right. Your last one. I'm going to give you kind of a difficult one. Okay. It would be difficult for me anyway. Confiscation. Okay. Confiscation. Con- that, that's uh, confiscation. C-O-N-F-I-S-C-A-T-I-O-N. Woo! Hey. Yeah. God right. of schools have shaped you, my friend, Yoo-hoo. for the rest of your Three life. In a row. Congratulations. Quiet on the set. <laughs> Your shark app ready. Here's another movies under the moon uh, code word. If I misspell this one, I'm really in trouble. Uh, yeah, the Shark Morning Show, Sarah and A Train. Time for another movies under the moon code word. It's Sky S K Y Sky. That is your movies under the moon code word. Get that in your shark app. Maximize your chance to win this great prize package. Sky. Good luck. 14, it's the Shark Morning Show with Sarah and A-Train. Happy birthday today, too. We usually do that during Who Are You, but it's a very special birthday today. Sir Elton John's uh-huh. birthday today. Yeah, Facebook.com slash Shark Morning Show. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Laura, for pointing out that my math is wrong. I, <laughs> I thought it was his 73rd birthday. He's 74 today, is 74 Elton? 74 years old. Yeah, yeah. and, uh, yeah, I just said, yeah, what's your favorite Elton song? And it's funny, we've got so many comments, and every one of them, you go, ooh, oh, I love that song. Yeah. And oh, uh, it's unbelievable. The, the library of hits that this guy has is yeah. unprecedented. It really is unbelievable. I mean, we, he's, the one that I've seen the most in concert, right? Didn't we talk about that before? Yeah, I think you and I uh, are the same in the same boat there. I I've seen him, I four, think, five times or five, five four or five times. Yeah. We both saw him. It, the uh, building was brand new. The what uh, they call the snoo now. It just opened when we saw him yep. uh, rocking that place back in two thousand and one. Wow. Yep, that was a, and uh, he played uh, "Someone Saved My Life Tonight," which is one of the favorites of many people on. Yeah our list here for sure i mean uh, one of my favorite one. elton john stories my son went to that show with me uh, yeah. and he was nine years old at the time now before that he had only known the shows that the radio station put on right okay. so when when colin came with me to those shows he would be backstage and there'd be food everywhere <laughs> you know because that we feed the the artists and all that and he'd hang out with the band and stuff and you know, that was just his experience yeah. as a kid, right? So <laughs> at the end of the concert, or actually like towards the middle, he was getting really tired because it was at night, oh, you yeah. know, and he was a little kid. So he turned to me and he goes, Mom, can I just go backstage now? Can I go, just go see Elton? Can we just go say hi to Elton and then can we go? Can we just, can we go get one of those subs? Uh, <laughs> that's, is, that's amazing. I mean, it was just the cutest. Yeah, it's like, like no, I know there's going to be two or three encores. Can we just get back there right now? <laughs> right. Yeah. He's like, I'm getting tired. Can't we just say, I just want to go say hi to him and then I, I want to go home. I want to eat and then I want to go home. <laughs> there we go. That's nice. <laughs> oh, but yeah, we're going to play a couple from uh, Sir Elton John coming up. It's the least we can do for making us so happy for decades. That's on the way. It's a Shark Morning Show with Sarah and A Train. You're listening to the Shark Morning Show with Sarah and A Train. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? We're the Shark Morning Show with Sarah and A Train. Time to play Who Are You? Fun game. You know, you just pick a celebrity, give the other person three or more clues, try to figure out who that celebrity is, and that is how you play Who Are You? Marching through March, my theme this week, military movies, the biggest stars from military movies. And I'm going back to the year 2000 for this one. The movie is Men of Honor. I'll give you one of the... uh, the other major stars of this movie is All right. Cuba Gooding, Cuba Gooding Jr. Uh, this guy that I'm looking for, well, very well known actor, Jack and, Nicholson. Uh, it is not Jack Nicholson. That was oh. a, a few good men. I make that same mistake. That's why. Uh, mm. That's why I selected. Uh, <laughs> I selected this guy. Uh, he, well, he made his uh, debut. 
in a movie st- uh, called The Wedding Party. I, that's terrible. That's just my worst worst cl- clue ever. <laughs> I, la- I missed all my good clues. Okay, <laughs> sorry. He was born <laughs> in 1943. He is 77 years of age, will turn 78 in August. And uh, I'm going to say uh, his biggest breakthrough was uh, the movie The Godfather Part Two, where he played a young Vito Corleone. Al Pacino. It is not Al Pacino. Oh. Uh, it is uh, his, uh, I'll say, uh, he was married to Diane Abbott and uh, Grace Hightower were his wives. Um, let's see. Uh, how about, uh, he worked with Scorsese quite a bit. Raging Bull. Uh, also. De Niro? Robert De Niro. It's Bobby D. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. He was with uh, Cuba Gooding Jr. in, um, yeah, Men of Honor back in 2000. They played uh, Navy. Uh, you know, Navy divers in that one. So. All right. Yeah. All right. We are doing birthdays today. We just uh, said our salute or did our salute for Elton John. It's another birthday today. Wow. It's going to be a uh, good day if you are a musical legend. This woman was born in 1942. She unfortunately passed away in 2018. She ha- is known as the Queen of Soul. Oh, yes. Isn't that something? Elton John and she, he wrote the Border song, which she covered, and it's a beautiful rendition. Uh, I tell you, Elton John songs are everywhere, and it's Aretha Franklin. Aretha Franklin, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, legendary music. How come, people. how come, after, you, after I figured out my clues are so much better than the clues I give you, Sarah? <laughs> That's like the best clue ever. <laughs> it's not supposed to work that way. Oh, uh, trade. You're funny. <laughs> uh, listen, if it's your birthday today, Happy birthday to you, too. We've got madness on the way next on The Shark. What was your favorite part of the day so far today, Train? Well, Sarah, I got to say, it wasn't even uh, planned to be part of the show, but uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll just I'll just frame it as your oh. fashion discovery. I cannot believe that I wore two different shoes. The right is different from the left. I mean, am I going to have trouble walking... I, I, it was fine until I went to the bathroom at like seven o'clock. Yeah, you don't have to I didn't walk notice long at all. distances at any point today, right? Well, like, no, you don't but I a, should. Uh, I should get in my steps. I got oh, this, you yeah. know, yeah, uh, this mm. whole exercise thing going. Yeah, well, oh. it's okay. I, mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what uh, you'd have to take a run to the um, well, not you know, oh, take a I'm run to the shoe to store or something. To, oh, to buy yeah. a new pair of shoes? Yeah. How unfortunate right? that I'll have to do that. That's great. <laughs> Uh, my favorite part of today, I think, was saluting Elton John. Yeah, on his seventy fourth birthday today. Yeah, yeah, that's right. He he had platform shoes. Yeah, he did. <laughs> We've got the romantics coming up on the workday kickoff. Three hours of continuous classic hits, commercial free on the Shark. The Shark Morning Show with Sarah and A Train. <laughs>